Welcome back. In this video, we're going to look at the four reasons, the four, uh, the only four reasons that anyone buys pretty much anything. I think it's very important that we go through these and you understand now, even after understanding the four magic questions, but you understand the, the reasoning that people take action so that you know uh, how to position that and how to call on that reasoning when you're asking them to, to click and buy from your email. So let's go ahead and dive in and get started and take a look at the four, the only four reasons that people buy. So the first reason, personal gain, right? Pretty self-explanatory. It's selfish personal gain. Now, I'm, if I'm gonna buy something, it's because uh, it's going to get me something that I want, get me further, have me, you know, whether it's personal appearance, whether it's to be stronger, smarter, faster, whether it's to be, uh, to have a, a bigger market cap, whatever it is, personal gain is a powerful, powerful uh, a buying trigger and one that you need to keep in the back of your brain as you're writing your emails. Now, if you're not calling on, on triggers and you're not referencing personal gain in your emails, no matter what you're selling, you're missing a major buying trigger. So make sure that when you're crafting your email marketing messages or any, any marketing or sales messages that you're remembering personal gain in your messaging. We're gonna talk a lot about how to, how to put this in play with, with cueing the click and click triggers and your, your body copy, but it's important for you to understand this now so that you can put it into perspective as we dive a little bit deeper into the nuances of, of email copywriting. Okay, apparently we go one, three. We're going kind of odds even, so I'm just gonna go through these real quick. Number two, so personal gain being number one. Number two is logic and research, all right? Logic, when, especially when you're uh, in a bigger, uh, a bigger purchase or bigger buying cycle, you have to understand that people are both going to apply logic, which usually is, is math, right? Math and logic go hand in hand. Um, so when you're, when you're leveraging pricing, discounts, uh, this is important to, to know that you're now speaking to the logical buying decision uh, and research. People are going to research your brand. Now, as you're making declarations and, and statements in your email marketing, you need to keep this logic and research uh, in, in, the, in the very forefront of your mind. You need to logically explain as you're going through why someone should take action now, why they should buy. Now, that may be timing, that may be price, uh, that may be a, a number of different things, but if you're not leveraging logic uh, or comparative research, in your calls to action, then you're missing out. So keep logic and research uh, in mind when you're building out your email campaigns. Now, the third part is social proof or third party influence. This is so important, so important. Even, and, and think about it like this. So let's talk about personal gain, right? That's obviously selfish and we all have that and it's a primary motivator uh, in anything we do. But personal gain makes me believe in me and goes ahead and says, I'll probably believe that whatever you're selling does whatever you say it does or it should do. I, I also believe that it's worked for other people. Personal gain is not only about showing me where, right, where it can take me, what it can do for me, but it's also a little bit about giving me belief in myself that it can work for me, right, that it will work for me, not only that, it, that it's worked before. Social proof is that it's worked for other people right? It's worked for other people like me or ideally uh, with, uh, with in a worse scenario, right? In a worse situation with, uh, with, with more roadblocks or speed bumps ahead of them, it worked for them so that I can comparatively say, well, if it worked for them, I'm in a much better position, so it'll definitely work for me. So making sure that not only are you leveraging third-party research like case studies and testimonials, I'm sorry, uh, social proof like case studies and testimonials, not only are you leveraging it, but you're working it into your campaigns. We'll talk a lot about join me in congratulating and, and, and when you should leverage these testimonials, both in individual email structure and campaign structure, but you need to start thinking about these assets, uh, especially as you're gathering them. Third party influence. So if someone else has said something nice about you or your brand or validated any point that you're making, you need to have a list of that and you need to pepper it throughout uh, so that you can influence the buying decision, right? So I believe that you can do what you say you can do. 
I believe that you've done it for other people. I believe that other people, uh, other brands and other industry thought leaders or credible news sources uh, say that what you say is correct. I believe that you can do it for me. All right, these are, these are three very important uh, aspects and nuances of why we decide to buy. And the fourth and final is the fear of loss, the fear of missing, missing out. It's why scarcity uh, and time-based promotions are so effective. So if you keep these four reasons that people buy, in fact, if it were me, I would print this particular slide out and put it up uh, by my computer for when I was writing sales copy. Uh, but if you'll keep these in mind, you'll write much better email subject lines, much better body copy, and you'll create much tighter and well-rounded uh, email promotion campaigns. Now, in the next video, we're gonna dive into the points of belief, all right, the points of belief. So I'll see you back in that video in just a second.